<laughs> Happy Wednesday, Wednesday night to you, to you, to you, to you. Uh, wait, wait. Hello. Okay. How's everybody doing tonight? Happy Wednesday to everybody. I'm Ryan, the producer, director, editor of Tales of Ahal, the Aftermath Chronicles. And let's hop to it tonight. We have special effects to do tonight, so let's get started. We are working on episode four of season three of Tales of Ahal, which is a stop motion hero escape adventure. And again, this live stream is pre recorded because my internet is stinky, so I gotta pre record these things and upload them online, but feel free to comment on Twitch or Facebook. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then it just doesn't matter. And I was gonna say, Merch, we have merch. www.cptov.store. T shirts, pillows, stuff. Okay, let us start. So you can see right here, screen, I have a big visual to show. So I'm just getting started with the effects. This is a Morrow Drudge, for those of you who do not know Hero Escape or the miniatures. This is a Morrow, and there's there's lots of Morrow, and we've, we've seen a lot of Morrow within Tales of Ahala. And this is one specific kind. They're called a Drudge, and they're mostly like more connected to the swamp, like a uh, creatureness. Um, yeah, they're, they're connected to swamps, basically. That's, that's how it's shown. And hold on one second, hold on one second. I have to cough. Thank you. And so I've already, like, all I did was copy this effect because we see the Mara Drudge in the first, one of the, one, of the first, one of the first battle scenes we see in season, the beginning of season two. And so I just copied and pasted from the uh, hit film project file that I did that battle on with, with where it had these effects already installed and copied it onto this episode. So don't really have to design much. I, I am going to create another impact element uh, for the for this weapon, but besides that, it's basically everything that we've seen in season two. It's just a little bit more up close now because you know we we got them a bit closer. So here, let me just show you this. All right, don't blink. It goes by that fast. See, not bad, eh? Now there is one thing missing. And that's the first thing we're going to add when we do the special effects here in this half hour that we have on this live stream. But first, I just want to show you frame, kind of frame by frame here. Okay, here we go. See? Bam. And then out comes the projectile. And you really don't even see it in between. It just Everything goes by really fast, so you don't really need to show them kind of like fans out there. And boom, done. So that's it, slow motion. This is it, fast. Boom. So let us go to the project file here. And I'm going to bring up, so we, we're also going to be working on this here. This is the impact element for that weapon. So when it impacts, when it hits somebody, this is what we're going to see uh, explode onto a miniature or on the ground or whatever. But first, I want to go back to this composite shot okay and so this is where we see now I'm gonna tell you what's missing okay there, bring this and bring this up again all right so you see this here and when it comes out there's really no shadow underneath to indicate it's just it's a subtle thing normally no one would probably even like consciously Pick, pick up on it, but there is a little bit of light right here, and that's just basically uh, these elements with the opacity down just to kind of give it look like there's some type of um, uh, light flashing against the drudge here. Well, I want to kind of do the same thing to have some type of light shadow for the projectile weapon, the projectile plasma weapon, uh, coming out. And like I said, the audience usually won't pick up on something like this, but when you are editing special effects, to try and make these effects fit in with the environment that they're not, that 
that they're not in and that you're just adding and pasting them on, it's good to have those little things just to um, alert the subconscious of your audience to be like, oh, this is actually, this is part of uh, this, when, it, when you know, this, this environment when, when it, when it isn't, it's just one of those little Jedi filmmaker mind tricks that we try and do. So let me, let me show you what I mean. Bring this down. So let's bring this out. Now, and this is a simple thing to do. So we're going to take this. Uh, let's see, where is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Right there. So we're just going to switch off these effects for now. And we're just going to have this one. We're going to take this back to here. So what we'll do is we'll start out, so we're just going to duplicate this. And bring it down. I'm just going to change the position down a bit. See how I'm bringing it down? Yeah. So I have it start somewhere like up here. And really starting out, we don't really need to see much, maybe like 10% opacity or something. Let's go to this. All right. And so it already has it positioned, but we're going to take, get rid of these because that's not the path we want this one to go on. So we will remove those. see it right now it just stays right there we're just going to bring it down here. and parallel with it right there so first let me just bring this up a little bit more kind of like right here we'll take care of the take care of the opacity in a minute let's hold on Okay, so we want to have this come down. One second. Let me check something. Okay. Just want to make sure where it's starting from. Okay, it doesn't matter as long as it just. Okay. So, we're going to bring this down here. Maybe like. one and maybe just on the ground here now it kind of looks like okay you just and then just completely off there and then just gonna just like hang out there with all its friends all right so here we are how it looks and that's how it is. Now what we're gonna do is we've got opacity so we're just bringing this opacity down to right now like I said we don't need to see much in the way of opacity. Barely nothing. So, and actually, that might be good enough. Here, hold on a second. Let me take this off. I think you can barely see it, but you don't really need to see it that much. Now, okay, that's like, oh, wait a minute. Because this is going up to 100%. Let me bring this down to 10. Well, maybe, maybe 20. 
Let's try to have it go up to 20 and see what that looks like. seeing it like a little bit right here 20 right here and then in this next frame okay. this next frame let's bring it back down to 10 and that's fine so okay so let us look at this See what it looks like. Just expand this a little bit. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the rest of the stuff in here. Ta-da! Save. Oh, save your work. I like that a lot better. So it's not something that's that's it doesn't have to be perfect, but like I said, it does. You see it. You can just it's just that subtle little hint of it interacting with the environment. See, there's a little glow here too. You can't see it, but that just gives the audience, like I said, a, a subconscious hint that okay, this looks more like its environment. So. That's, that's where we go with. So that, that's the full gunshot. Now I just need to add this to a million other um, times when uh, these Maro Drudge <laughs> characters shoot things. Yeah, it's, it's going to take longer than this half hour of live stream that we have. We're almost halfway done with this live stream already. Ah! Okay, so moving on. So we got that. So what I'm going to do here... I'm going to copy this and bring this over here and put it, let it go right here. Yeah. And so that way it is ready for the next firing. But we don't need now, we, we, we were doing this, this muzzle gun stuff. But we don't need the muzzle right now, we just need the impact because we are seeing a creature getting it. So, okay, so again, I'm going to, this is all good. I'll just take this off. And actually, I'll, see, I'll, just, uh, I'll bring up this composite shot too because then we can start having them fire again. We might be able to do one before this uh, live stream is done. It's just a matter of copy pasting and adjusting. But. For this now, I already have the frame set up to see this is where this needs to be. And I'm not positioning. So hold on. Delete that. Now let's keyframe this. I have to shrink it down a little bit. Then bring down the scale a little bit, although I'm going to widen it. So yeah, so I'll just put it right where that wound token is. Good. <clears throat> now, I said, okay, we're going to have to move along with this creature. Or this, the, the Einar or Enar Imperium, who's going to have a really bad day. I'm just tell. It's like, yep, yep, you're going to have a bad day. So sorry, so sorry. I 
Oh, wait a second, I should. Yeah. This is fun. This is one of the f fun things I like about about working on this is just adding these elements. Even though I know it takes, and it, it's like it's like me and me liking stop motion. This stuff takes a lot of time, but it's just ultimately so worth it when when you see the end result. So now, I'm going to actually bring this over here, but you can see there's a bush kind of in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a little smaller and have it more on this side and skinny again. Actually just um, kind of kind of have it disappear. So the opacity right now is and in the time it takes to move again, we're just going to have it disappear. So that would be right here. Yeah. And I think that's good enough. I mean, because personally, I, quite frankly, I don't want to mask this. Uh, masking like a bush like that would just be horrible. I mean, usually I might mask it, but. This is an, this is like a kind of see-through, so I'm just gonna have the thing disappear. That's what I'm gonna do. And so first off, let's do this. Do this to uh, the constant keyframe, so that way this just moves with everything. And I think that is what we need for the shot. So here, let's just take a look. Now th this is this is kind of a long shot actually. Oh no, not that one. Okay, that's part of a long shot, but just this clip is is pretty simple. All right, so here. All right. Let's take a look. Boom! I like it. Let's take a look at it close up. right around with it. I think it's good. And I don't think, I'm not going to add any like shadow or anything. I don't think it needs it. That's a little bit of overkill. It's just, it's just stuck to him. I, th I think it's good enough. I might, I might, I might re, re-decide against it later, but that's, that's what I'm thinking. So save again. Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice little ending for that INR Imperium. Just boom. It's just it's just gone. Alright. So moving on. So we have we have this next shot. I said time flies. As I always say, this time flies when you are when you're adding on special effects. We uh, usually don't have too much time to show much of anything, but at least you know we see this. And so I'll be doing a lot of layering down uh, these weapons fire shots this week into next week, and, and hopefully by next week. I'll be done with most all of them, and we can move on to another another effect. Because there's other effects to, to look and see to do, but these ones are the ones that it, it's going to take up most of the time to 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 get them done. So Here, hold on. To I believe this is do, 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 do. yeah, there's there's a lot. Okay. 
All right, so this one done. Let's see here. Uh -huh. So now this morrow, you just need a single shot from them. You don't need both. This. Oh, okay. So I, I would don't I don't need this one, and I don't need that. Well, I might need that still, and I can make this one bigger. Cause see, this one has he's just firing one, and this one's standing off to the side. So, and then, well, this is going. You can see it, like he's firing away, and then we come up to this one, and they're still firing. So. I'm going to transition back and forth, like the fire a few times when the shot's done, but I'll blur out when, when, when the miniature is blurry, then I'll blur the effect. When the miniature's not blurry, I won't blur the effect, but let's just add on the first round of him firing. This, this, is, this is where things get fun. And we just have a few minutes left of it, so less talking, more working. All right. First thing I'm going to do with this one is go here. And like I said, I might not have enough time to, <laughs> to get out of this. It might be a very fast uh, close. Alright, so let's remove that position. And what we're going to do first is up the scale, up the scale the scale. This got bigger. Uh -huh. So what does that look like when I do that? Oh, okay. I can turn around. I think so. Alright, so position. I don't mind going and jumping back there. That's fine. So let me see how this will work. Okay. So we'll bring this. I still think it needs to be bigger. Or I want it to be bigger. I want these things to be a little bit larger than life this time around. Because so I thought, I think, I thought like the season two segment where these guys are in, they were just too small. I want, I want these things to be, to look dangerous, you know, to be dangerous. Just going to the just a little bit, and that should be fine. Pewy, 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 pewy. Uh -huh. And now, let me add on the reflections here. Do need to <clears throat> once again position. So I'm just put it right here. And I think the scale is fine. Perfect, and then the next one. 
here. And you know what? I'm not going to have time to do the projectile part. That's okay. I can only show to so much. I can only show so much. Show, so, show, so, show, so. Let's go back here. And this one, I think, uh, no, I'll just have it long here. Oh, make it skinnier. Even more thinner. Have a long of that. Should be fine. All right. Like I said, this is going to take a kudos amount of time. But at least we get to see the start of this. And then hopefully next week, if I remember, I'll show you the completed version of the shot because it's going to it's going to take a lot, a lot of effects. But yeah, it's just. And boom, 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 and then we just gotta add the projectile part. So that is basically it. Ha 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 ha! Live stream's done. <laughs> We're already almost way over time, so I'm gonna end this uh, quickly. Uh, yeah, you, okay. You just see me working on the um, special effects for Tales of How the Aftermath Chronicles episode four, and there's a big battle scene. There's like literally zillions of these effects I need to add on to these drudge for gunfiring. And for those of you uh, who are watching this on our a YouTube, our Tales of How YouTube page. This is an edited down version of what is going to be a half hour uh, live stream in which I am applying uh, special effects to this episode. If you want to see everything involved in, in that process, uh, go ahead and see it. Uh, go to our Connector Productions YouTube page, um, which will be a link in the description below or on the screen in front of you to see the whole process. And this process is just getting started. We are going to be doing special effects through December, I guarantee it. So with that, I'll see you guys next Wednesday when we do more of this episode, more special effects. And I'll see you guys, yeah, yeah, next next Wednesday for this. Later, and I'm repeating myself. Ah, and I hit my hand again on the desk. Ah.